Hello, in this tutorial, we will learn how to send current timestamp in Postman's GET request and POST request. So first we will check a GET request. So here I have an example where we have this API and which accepts date parameter and in date parameter we have to pass current timestamp. But manually it is difficult to pass current timestamp. So we have to write a simple script to emulate or to simulate a current timestamp. So manually it will be basically just a simple timestamp which you are passing. But to pass a current timestamp, we have to write a simple script something like this. So go under prerequisite script and on line number one you are saying that we have acquired moment. So moment is a JavaScript object. So just write this line variable moment and acquire moment. So now in this moment we have timestamp and we will set one environment variable. You can set global or local environment variable. Uh, for this example, we will set a global environment variable named current date time. So environment variables are here on right, right top right corner of your screen. You will see this eye icon under this eye icon under globals. You can create new environment variables. Just click, click on edit button and you can create any number of environment variables. So here we have current types, current uh, date time environment variable. So this environment variable we will set with the value of this moment, which is current time and we will format without any parameter so let's run this request and see what happens save this request and run so now you can see that we have a current timestamp now it is 2309 2309 so we have sent this current timestamp and this is not a utc timestamp this is local uh, system timestamp which we are sending so this is how you can send timestamp dynamically the current timestamp to your get request now we will learn how to send current timestamp in POST request. So we have example of this API. It is a POST API and in this POST API we have a date field where we want to send current timestamp. If we send manually you will have to type your timestamp which will not be close to current timestamp. So we will have to write a script. So you simply have to go into pre-request script. Under this tab you have to write a variable moment and acquire moment. Moment is a JavaScript library and after that you have to set a global environment variable or any local environment variable is fine you have to set an environment variable like for example i have this current date time environment variable you can create such environment variable and write the same syntax without format and that's it save this request and after that you have to go into your body part and instead of sending request hard-coded date and time you can just replace it with such placeholder in curly braces and this is the current date time so just send this request the current date time is a global environment variable if you can if you remember here and now let's see what has happened when we send this post request so here is my post request if i go under body you can see that we have current time date date and time stamp here for this parameter which comes from the script so in this part we will learn how we can format this uh, current date timestamp so there are different formats which are available now we will try a different format just ddmmyy there is no time and if i send this request you can see like the time the format has changed and there is no time just date there are many different formats available for moments library as you can see on your screen i will share this link in description and you can try out formats or use any formats which are required for your apis now we will see how to send different time uh, future time or past time in your request so if there is a requirement to send a 10 minutes previous time or 10 minutes future time or time difference by hours or days you can easily do, do that with a script so let's first send this request and now you can see this is the current timestamp if i'm not doing anything just the original request but if i make a simple call to subtract method and i'm remaining 10 minutes so going into 10 minutes past and once again send this request so now you can see that the current time was 23:20, and if i subtract 10 minutes now it is 23:10. if i subtract 15 minutes it should be 05 so you can also change this by hours like if i want to subtract one hour you can subtract hour minutes seconds anything and instead of subtract subtraction i can also use addition so if I use addition, you will have the future time. So by this way, you can either send a future or 
pass time in your api request as per the requirements thank you very much for watching this video i have created a lot of such simplified explanation videos practical demos in this playlist so please watch them and if you like those video please subscribe to our channel thank you